Gathered here are scientists, food experts, and farmers from Nigeria and other countries. They are here to deepen their knowledge and skills towards being better advocates for genetically modified organisms, GMOs, technology, and biotechnology in general in their various countries. So we thought that um, this workshop would be necessary to intimate Nigerians and let them know that we have local capacity for the development of living modified organisms in Nigeria and also for the regulation of living modified organisms and ensure that practitioners are not going against the guidelines that have been provided. And then for trade reasons, because people want to know what it is they are buying. The presence of international actors at this workshop provides some intellectual platform and assurances that the application of modern biotechnology is safe and can boost the economies of countries that adopt it while enhancing environmental sustainability. It's important for uh, parties to promote capacity building and ensure that developing nations uh, receive adequate uh, knowledge transfer and um, information. It's important for uh, several uh, provisions under the Convention of Biological Diversity as well as the Convention's protocol, the Cartagena Protocol on Biosecurity. Uh, which focuses on the safe use and transfer of LMOs, uh, particularly focusing on transboundary movements. We need that agriculture be adapt to changing conditions in the world. The genetic engineering is another tool available to farmers and to scientists to achieve the goal of obtaining a new plant variety in, a, uh, in less time. The aim of this workshop is to provide participants with the understanding of the processes involved in the development of GMOs and living modified organisms and MOs. This will address the issues of perception and safety that are besetting the adoption of GMOs in Nigeria. Ngozi Onyejiako, AIT News, Abuja.